welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the Morpho project. I mean really uh it's actually the thumbnail so eh it's the same thing. But uh yeah, um I've been working on it. Uh the Friday and the Saturday and the Sunday for a bit. So uh I guess we now have some more colors into it. <laughs> so uh I hope you'll have been in uh, I hope you're going to be enjoying now how far I'm getting today and then tomorrow I think I will get it uh done fully. So it's gonna be lo it's gonna be great. So um, after this, I will probably um, do some more. Uh, pro after after the thumbnail, I will probably do another. I need to draw another T-shirt design because uh, apparently the uh, I need to get a T-shirt done by February. So that therefore you know it's coming first before the motherfuck. So yeah. Um. So uh, let's get started on this, shall we? <clears throat> so, um, as you can see, um, I have been doing some uh, work lately on this. Uh, this is just, you know, seeing if the drawing, if the drawing would work, yeah, how this is going to be working. So I wanted to have like a little glow on these bolts, but the main problem with this is actually I need to get this bolt right here, and then I don't have this right there. So that is my main problem. Apparently, I should not have placed those things on the same uh length uh length no not length yes i should not have placed this on the same uh layer as this one so we need to get these things now we need to get this so we need now to get these things into a different layer so we need to get these uh balls into a different layer so that uh all of this is going to be working out fine then we can finally get. Then we can finally start on the other drawing itself, because that's how this is going to be working on. And as you can see, this is how glowing effects work, which is quite cool. I mean, uh, looking into it a little bit. Um. So yeah. Um. Let's get started on this. Uh, so we have this one, this one, this one. And this one. So we need to get this whole group together. Now we need to get the uh, form changing upwards, and that should work properly. So let's first do this one, and then do the rest. So we're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna paste it. Now is the question: How much did we? Oh, now we need to deselect that, and now we need to know how much did we move, how much did we did, oh, we did copy the full thing, lovely. So as explained earlier, this is important. So we have one ball, we have one ball right now, and then we're gonna just get the other one as well up and running. So we have now the first ball done, and then we need to have a second one, so we're gonna do the same again. And then that should work. So all our hard work upon the drawing, you know, all that stuff that we uh, had to do beforehand. Well, we're going to do it again. But now we're just going to be making sure that we have that uh, copied again. And then we paste it. And now we have both of them. And now we're going to merge those two together. And then that should fix the main issue that we had. So we're going to merge them together with the layer below. And now we have these ball. Uh, now we have these balls um, representing the uh, part that we need. Now, if we then move this towards the part that we want, so we want this to be up here. Now we can add the lighting to it. As you can see, we can remove we can remove this and then you know uh, give it this look. I don't know which look I'm still gonna go for, but both looks are great. So I'm gonna be looking for uh, what kind of look do I want? If I do want to look, if I do want this look, or do I want to have the other look as well? So I'm not yet fully, uh, n I'm not fully uh, convinced upon uh, what kind of look I want to go for. 
Uh, let's see where the where's the where's the glow there? There's the glow. All right. So now we're gonna move the glow towards the part that we want. So we want it below the we want it below the lightning bolts. And now we can say uh, no. We can oh no. We can uh, uh, uh. now we can move here and then we can choose this one right here, or we can choose this one which. Uh, whatever suits better. I think this one actually suits better if we want to go for it. And now if we now add uh, a source of uh, color towards this, this happens. So if we now add like 50%, this this is going to be happening. So now we have like a cool looking effect that guides the orb within it, but we don't want to go for dark magic. That is not what we're going to go for. We're going to go for a lighter effect. <laughs> And um, while we have that lighter effect, we probably want to also chain, uh, get some uh, lighter color on the on the on the on the top side here, so that that actually gives more uh, away the effect that we want. So what kind of color do I want? Well, I want probably this color right here because that's actually the lightest color there is. And then we just gonna be casually, you know, oh well, we should have actually used this first. So now we're gonna go for that. So we want this cool looking uh, ball, and then we want to have the lighter color in in the middle, like so, and that should work. Now the question is if this is enough. Probably it is. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna still go for the effect that we want. Which is um, the soaking power of the lightning. Like so. So this effect is going to be probably very wacky. But it is a cool effect nonetheless. It's the, uh, you know, you have this, you have these lightning bolts that are you know, quite static, but we still want to have the effect on that. And I'm very happy upon how how much I actually learned already from this uh, from this drawing. Even though you know this is just a thumbnail, it does gives me cool new ideas that I can use uh, for further uh, drawings. Um, the drawing that I'm going to be doing next to design a T-shirt that I need to uh, need to have for uh, for in in February. Is uh, is a T-shirt that is gonna be a very easy one to draw, but still, well, not fully easy, but it is gonna be fun. It's uh, it's a wanted, it's a wanted, uh, wanted poster. So yeah, gonna be doing that. So I want to draw a wanted poster, but of course I want to draw a wanted poster in such a way that it actually works quite well. And that. Now we can go for the blend tool, and hopefully that will fix a lot of stuff here. Like for instance the, yeah, there you go. And now we do have the, now we do have the effect that I want. The effect of these lightning bolts being very, very, very scary. That's the idea. It's a very scary lightning bolt. It's like you know you have these two big giant bottle or ball, balls of lightning that are kind of gonna get gonna get it wrecking on these thing on these fools. Now the idea is that once we have that, we can now even lower it down so that you know not everything is gonna be very problematic, which probably is a thing that we want to do. We just want to have these lightning bolts to give a little bit of light. Eh. Yeah, a little bit of light. And then, you know, once the lightning bolts have the light that we uh, the, the, the light that we want, we can also say like, well, uh, these lightning bolts don't have to be like very correct. But yeah, they can be like this if you want to. Or even like so that if we if we even remove it, then we can see like this is actually the effect that we have on it. So, because we copied it Apparently, it makes it more visible. Apparently, but yeah. Same goes for here. We just want to get that. Uh, we still want to get. We want that. We want. Oh, 
Blip. There you go. No. No. Ah, there you go. We want that effect to be around everything, but we don't want it to have be around everyone. So we want to have this effect. We want this lightning bolt to be affected, but we don't want it everywhere. We want to just give this effect around the bolt, around the globe. So it doesn't need to be very amount. It just needs to have like a cool effect on it. So like this, yeah, much better. There you go, that's much better. And then right here we can also do that. Because we don't we don't need that much lightning. We just need we just need to have that effect of lightning to be represented. So that it's like a light source that's that is guidable. Also I made a mistake in counting, so surprise there. It is one of those things that happen. Apparently I should have gone for one. I should have gone for two, uh, for one tiny one and then two big ones. And I went here for three big ones instead of two. It happens, it happens, it happens. Uh, nothing that you can do really about it anymore. But yeah, this actually looks fine. This actually looks pretty fine. This is actually quite a cool looking effect on the, on the orbs that I want to go for. It does create the effect of that the orbs are very high densed. And now we actually need to get the. Um, now we're gonna just shut down this a little bit, and uh, we're gonna be moving towards the perf bird again, and then we're gonna go for um, this color right here, and we're gonna go for a little lighter one, lighter version. Um. So yeah, uh, let's see. We want a lighter version of this, so we want to go lighter. That means that we're gonna go this way, right? No, not like that. Not like that. But we want to save for sure. So the idea here is that we're gonna be picking up a color and then we're gonna go for a little bit more lighter approach. Oh no no no. No. That is not light up. Hmm. We want to go for this color, but we want to go for color that does stand out a bit. Alright, hold on. Um, like so then. What? No. Not like so. No. 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 Yes, excellent. All right, we're going to go for this color. And now the bird wings do have some lighting in it, but we don't want to have we don't want to go for full on the lighting we just need to have like a little bit of it so like so and then the rest is gonna be still the same color because I noticed once uh, when I drew the bo uh, the balls that if I use too much of the same if I use too much it doesn't it doesn't make it cool or uh, it doesn't make it great there you go this is actually quite this is actually quite good. Yes. Excellent. Now we actually need to make sure that this is also at the bird wing parts. Therefore creating the effect that you want. Of course I want to make sure that once I done once I do this, I need to make sure that um Once I do this, I need to make sure that I have the blend tool up and running because I need to blend some parts here, here and there, which need to be fixed. So yeah, 
I'm going to fix these uh, wings a bit. And once the wings are a little bit more fixed, you know, we're going to go for the whole damn thing. Of course, this might not look a little bit more. This this might not look like a lot of change, but trust me, it is a it's it's actually a very nice change from where it started. Um, there you go. That's the one. That's the one that I want. Yes. And then I need to have the blend tool to get this part right here. I need to be fixed. Yes. There you go. I need this to be smoothed. There you go. Same goes for this one. Right here. This one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. There you go. Now it's smoothed up. All right. Now we need to go back to the uh, to the right color, and then we need to do this on a lot more than just that. So we need to fix this all. We need to fix this lighting part here because once this light effect is implemented then once we then add the lightning effect on the bird itself with the bird wings so we have the lighting effect on the on the wings but you know it's not fully lighting effect once we don't since we are missing a lot of stuff um that will increase the effect that we want and the better the effect is the the, the, the better it looks and also the thumbnail is like you know it's then six uh, six hours maximus, I think, then it is, because I designed one hour, two hours, and then I did some three hours work on it myself, and then we have almost three or six hours worked on it. I don't want to go extend over the, over the ten hours on these works, because, you know, thumbnails are... It's important that I have good thumbnails, yes, true, but I don't want to extend, I want to keep my, uh, pressure on myself to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. Or, well, did I make sure that the that thumbnails are correctly done? It's always great to uh, live, live stream this because then I know like, oh, well, I need to do this or I need to do that or I need to improve this or how do I do this again? And then, you know, I figure it out. Also, making sure that you have three colors in your drawing is in your, in your coloring is like a very interesting effect that actually works quite well. Because three colors means that you are always having uh, a shaping in your drawing. Well, make maybe not always, but a lot of times you can then you know implement that there is some lighting in it, or wherever you need to have lighting. Like for instance, here you need to have some lighting here to form the shape of the head. And then, you know, you can also put some lighting on the eyes here, like so. And I can get the eye. I don't think I need angry eyes. I just need to have the lighting eyes. No, well, not the lighting eyes. I just need to have the lighting effect. And then I have this right here. And right here I need it. All right. So now I just need to get the eraser done properly. There you go. And I should definitely put this on alpha so that I only work on the alpha layers. So now that we have like multiple layers that we have, we can now still do use the blend tool to implement the changes to the wings a little bit more seamlessly. Even though it might not look a little bit seamlessly, yes, but it is seamlessly once um, the blur tool is a bit used. So the effect is actually like, you know, you you don't want it to stand out too much. Especially on these wings, you don't want to have it to stand out too much that you are using this kind of technique. Because the, 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 the uh, because of the, how basic the shapes is. Or well, shapes are. Yeah, not shapes is. Ugh. Why am I saying it like that? That's not great. Well, up, come on, turn, there you go. 
Now I want to have the right tool for this job. There you go. So yeah, the more the more we work on this, the better it gets. The better it gets, the more the more we can see like ah oh, well we need this or we need that or we need this or we need that, and then we can implement all the stuff because the bomb is not gonna be a problem. The bomb is like very easy to you very easy to create, very easy to create. It's most likely the surroundings that need to be a little bit more different. Like, for instance, the uh, surrounding that I'm going to give for the background. Because I want to go for like a little background, but I don't want to go for a big background. I want to go for the background that is like good enough to represent uh, what we need. So we only need that tree, tree trunk we only need, and then the rest is all... Um, it's gonna be like the uh, lovely background of uh, like something like this. It's gonna be like this kind of background. But to make that kind of background, we need to have some, uh, you know, we we need to make sure that we use as many space as possible or use the space correctly at least. So now have you? We have now used this kind of space right here, efficiently. And then once we move up, we want to have some space right here, and then the text right there. And then we want to have something here that represents, like, you know, um, some lovely little uh, tell, that lovely little text that tells you about something. I don't know what yet, but... Hmm. So, yeah. That's what we're gonna do today, and um, I hope people don't mind that, because it's important that I do this. Well, it, it is important for me at least. And as you can see, this might not look like a lot of lighting, yes, but it will fix a lot of stuff that uh, has been left behind that needs to be fixed. Uh, most likely in the places where you know the 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 lightning is gonna be, so that's why I need this play and need need to have some lighting on it. Like for instance, here we can have some lovely little lighting here because that's how this works. So you have like a lovely lighting here that like so, and then go down. Yeah. Now I can use the blend tool to make sure that it is a little more blend in. There you go. All right. Now we just need to work on this as long as possible so that we get all the stuff that we need. And once we're done with all the stuff that we need, then then we can get the good stuff ro rolling. For instance, once we get the uh, Morphog fully co uh, lighted up, or well, the Morphog correctly lighted up, then well, things might look a little bit more different, yes, but the, the Morphog will look uh, shine better in its uh, surrounding. So yeah, to install drawing, ugh. it's one of my one of my hardest things to do properly. Most likely because of uh, how all of this is reacting to each other, or how it is all going on, and what what is going on, and how it go how it goes on. Like, I don't know what to do most of the time. I'm very inexperienced with how to uh, get colors correctly, or how to do good shapes. Because, well, you know, I learned a lot, but I have not learned everything. And the more the more I the more I do this, the better I get at it. Yes, true. And I want to keep on getting better at it. That's why I'm doing this, so that you know everybody else can be better at it as well. Because you know, the more I learn, the better, the better things get. And this already gives a good. No, this gives a good shape. This gives a good shape. Right, this is a good shit. Nah, needs to be needs to be a little bit more wider than like like so then. Like so. I believe this will fix it. 
do that. Yes. And then I need to just melt it so that it does not uh, look too changed. Changed up. Yes. This will actually, yeah, that, that looks fine. And then this, and this one as well, because we already use it on the other one. Now you can see, yes, absolutely lovely. All right, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, we were fixing those, uh, fixing those faces. There you go. All right, um, do 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 do. So the main he main idea here is that we're just going to be fixing up all the parts that we need to fix. The, the main issue is that because we're using bird wings and the bird wings don't have enough uh, uh, enough representation on the shapes, so the shapes are too basic. They don't give away they don't give away the right amount of pressure towards the drawing. They don't give them the right amount of feeling. This is why I'm doing it. To create an extra nice looking effect that I want. Because that's how it works. And the better I get at it, the better it, the better it looks. Duh. The main issue is that, well, you know, since that we're doing it, we need to do it everywhere, otherwise consistency will fall off, and once consistency falls off, then, well, everything goes fall, falls off. So we need to do it anyway. Even though, you know, maybe we don't want to, or we we just thought like, well, it was a good idea, but uh, I want to quit. No, you cannot quit once you're trying to do it correctly. Because you need to make sure that you do it consistently, otherwise, you know, your drawing will look like, well, you, you tried multiple things and uh, nothing came to it. Yep. You tried multiple things and you didn't know what to do. And that is indeed a thing that needs to be solved. For instance here, I need to do this and I know that I'm gonna regret, you know, the wing, the wing part here, this, this part right here. It's like, what I can do is, but will it have any effects? Yes, it will. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will. You just need to wait for it. And then it will affect, and then it will affect you. You just have to wait. The main issue is that, well, once we're, since that we're doing this, I also need to use the blend tool to make sure that you know the representation on the uh, on the, on these things is like well decent. On some parts it can just be done, like for instance here and there a little bit, but sometimes it doesn't get done properly and then well, you need to, to use the blend tool to blend in the coloring so that you don't see the strokes <laughs> happening too fast. So yeah, um, doo -doo -doo. But we're getting close to we're getting close to finishing the Malfog itself and then once we're done with the Malfog we can draw the bomb and then we can get to the good stuff, the environment because we want to create this kind of logo effect like this. We want to create this kind of effect for the Mollfog because I, wa I like that effect as well. And it is one of my favorite things to draw like that. So I'm gonna go for that Toonie style. And since that I'm already going for the Toonie style, I would prefer to go for that style again. And as you can see, it is a lot of work, but we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We just we just need to draw properly, and then you know once once we're getting to the end result, we get there. It's always good that I already figured out that the style was correct. Th this this style was correct. The Malfog was drawn in the right style, but you know it's the Malfog, and it looks weird because you know I never drew that thing before. Well, I drew it before, but I didn't drew it in this kind of style, so it looks a little bit weird, in my opinion. And. I think, you know, once I get a little bit used to it and probably, you know, next year or something like that and I make another thumbnail, then this will look fine, far better than the one that probably is currently holding the crown. So, uh, yeah, I'm already happy that, you know, I am I, going away from the very generic uh, thumbnail that uh, I had before. 
because it's very important that you know once you do when, when, I find it very important to have the thumbnail representing the stream and not you know the other way around like oh well what, what does the stream do well you don't see it and therefore you know you cannot most people will just casually ignore it I'm fine with that you know ignoring it but you know not knowing that it exists and well that that's a little bit of shame to and so to give people a little bit of a heads up what 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 kind of uh, what kind of live stream this is you know it's just you know me drawing and casually giving my thoughts and opinions upon anything that comes to mind it's 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 great it's great it's lovely but of course you know we need to well i need to make sure that everything is working fine and not always where everything works fine no definitely not I had times that things didn't work how they should be and those days are very 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 problematic because then I have like well I need to do t things I need to do that I have been working like for instance I have been working for four hours before the stream I've been working for it I work on this and then you know I, qu I quit for two two hours of walking and then when I came back I went I ate some food and then you know I I thought like well will I continue then and I was like no I won't I will just casually do something else in the meantime because you know you always need to take healthy breaks because otherwise you are gonna be very stuck and grinded to that seat and you don't want to be stuck on that seat uh, when you are doing things that don't work well it's very important that once you have like very important stuff or very difficult stuff to do you need to you need to still remember that well you're doing this uh, you need to work you need to work your head around this right and if your head is already busy filling up or doing something else then well it's not smart to bother it it's it's not it's uh, it creates stress it creates problems those problems can be solved quite easily but you know you still have those problems and you need to fix them and uh, once you fix them then you can start doing something else and it's important that you need to keep to real uh, you need to you need to realize that 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 is a thing that can happen it's very important of course you know not everybody not everybody might you know does it the same way as I do not everybody does the same way as I do in most cases some people casually ignore it some people casually ignore the advice you know and then you know suddenly they find themselves being writer blocked or uh, having a drawing block it happens it happens a creativity block can happen you just need to take time off then but of course you don't want to because you're already doing something else oh well you're already trying to do your very best upon this and then you know you have this writer block and everything goes to smithereens because of it this is why it's so important to have you know this is why it's so important to have this uh, writer block um, removed as quickly as possible so that's why you take the and that this is why you prevent things because you prevent it you don't have to worry about it and because you don't have to worry about it things go fine that's why I always like that's why I always like the 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 way of how I handle things like I have never occurred to me that I had a writer block it's more like eh I lost the spirit to do something all right well I'm mentally tired so I quit and you don't have to you don't have to admit that you're quitting you just have to admit that you know it takes time and effort to make a drawing work so just take your time and effort to just do it on your way just step by step easily doing it because there is nothing better than just you know casually working on your drawing enjoying your <sighs> enjoying your way of doing it damn it why I drew this on the wrong layer I have no idea well anyway I drew it on the wrong layer so we're gonna work with this so the main problem here is that I drew on the wrong layer well how do we fix it? Well, easily. We fix it like that. So now, it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting how far we now already are in the in this project. We we are now like the Malfork. It it's getting it get it's getting the background, 
and what we're doing here is just making a comic style version of it just to represent the motherfucker itself and what it does well what does it do mm, I don't know maybe shoot lightning yes lightning it does and now you can see that well I could have used this I could have used the over ejaculated um, uh, over overdone uh, lightning eyes which could have worked but they're not, not, not able so uh, where is it there it is so we need to remove this right here because these eyes are not very helpful hey yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm sure thing yelp main spiller ah, daddy just dad just walked in and he was like I am gonna borrow this and I'm like no you're not supposed to borrow that I was busy with it oh well anyway um let's continue do, 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 do. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I was done yeah so now this is actually looking quite better because now I can actually make the impression on the eye much easier I believe yeah so now we have this we have now the lightning in the we have now the lightning there and we can now presume assume that you know the bomb the tree you know everything everything is now working in the right order we have this we have the bomb on the tree and the bird just show up and is now ready to launch lightning of course you know the, the bird does look a little bit pissed off yes Probably the bird should look a little bit more pissed off, so I should probably put something here, which I can still do. That's that's no problem. Like this is why you double ch uh, this is why you double check things. Like oh well, you know the the bird looks a little bit pissed off, but does he look truly pissed off? Well, let's see about that. So if we draw this, he looks truly pissed off. Yes, now he looks truly pissed off. Is this the right way of doing it? No, it's not. But we now know how to draw it, so that's n that's the that's the first sign. Now we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna switch this back to 3.6 because 3.6 is a very important one to go for. So we have this right here, and that's one of the eyes that we need. Of course, you know. Oops. Of course, we need to now make sure that we don't have this line, because this line doesn't represent the eye. We have the eye already here, and we need to make sure that the eye is a little bit more better drawn in. So we draw the line a little bit more like so, and now we have a natural-ish looking line. It's not the best, not the greatest, but it is. And this is going to be like... Yeah, that's that's also great to use this line right here to make him look a little, even a little bit more pissed off. Yeah, boy, he is pissed. He's gonna kick his ass. Also, we should definitely put some uh, lax spines here. Yes, lax spines. The chicken lax. The chicken lax. Because you know it's very important that we have that. Because, well, Morfok has it as well, so therefore. It should have it as well. We had here because it had some problems. We had some problems. It had some problems, and we're gonna fix that because well, everybody likes the Morfolk yes, but we should definitely fix the parts that you know are problematic to the drawing. So now we fixed that lag. Uh, that lag is fine. All right, now we have actually the Morfolk almost done. So we have the Morfolk here. We can put on the we can put on the drawing uh, the part that we need. Well, that's quite easily solved. We have this part right here. Uh, we're not supposed to do that with that then. We should both do that with this because it's too tiny. And why is it not working? Hello? Oh, because this. Yes, because of the eyes. Yes. All right, well. Good for me, I can fix that right away. 
it's so good to have you know eyes that work like like clockwork I can just fix the part that I need and I can just erase the white where I don't want the white now there you go now he looks far more pissed off he looks now pissed off at the bomb yes the bomb should definitely put the bomb should definitely be a little bit more higher because as you can see he needs to be in direct line of sight of the bomb so the bomb should be moved over here then the tree should be moved over here and there you go now he looks at the bomb the bomb looks back and the bomb is screwed there you go with the things that you need to do all right that rhymed mm. now we need to get that lightning up and running because holy shit that thing that lightning needs to have a lightning uh lightning source um so where are we can go there um this is the lighting and this is the lighting of the source and then this is the lighting of the uh, no, this is the lighting of the other source, yes. So, underneath this needs to be a lighting source. It's a lighting source of the lighting source of the... Well, it's the lighting source of the lighting. It's a little bit uh, vague there, but... Alright, so what I need to do here is actually get the lighting source up and running through the uh, lines that we want. So, we have the lighting over here. It needs to have like the sapping part and you know you can see already what I mean like these uh, these uh, these feathers need to have a, like a touch of lightning effect to it because you know they're the literally the part where the lightning comes from so the lightning catches around and you know does some cool weird shit and that cool weird shit needs to be um, zapping so of course we don't want to have the lightning to be fully um, there you go so this will create the effect that I want um, or is this too hard I think this is even too hard we need to get uh, 40 again because I did not do this on 40 then oh my god I did not do this on 40 damn it Oh, I did it on the wrong way. Ah, I did it the wrong way around. Oh, well. Well, time to fix it. Alright, so we have this, and we have the lighting that needs to be drawn in. There you go. Because this lightning needs to be drawn in, and then therefore needs to have like this magical touch of lightning. Yes needs to have this magical touch of lightning and as you can see this is where the uh, lighting up of the uh, go, uh, come uh, this is where the lighting of the uh, points is actually very important because it actually creates the effect that I want it creates the effect that we want to have with the lighting it, 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 fe it makes the lightning look way more way more cooler than before because now the lightning has a use it it feels like lightning it is like you know it's it's getting statical and then you know all the lightning is getting zapped around and summoning big giant wall well, well not big giant but it's getting all that zappingness in, into it and that is very important yeah all of this oh, it's getting better and the more I work on this, the better this, uh, better the the lightning bird gets. That's the idea. Of course, you know the idea is that this static lightning is getting you know uh, channeled, and then you know from here to there, which it works. It's uh, it works. It's actually quite extraordinary to look at, and it feels like you know the lightning is getting zapped towards the balls of lightning which is important that's important that's the important part now the question is do we need to have a second part that makes sure that the lightning is connected from one point to the other point so that means that the lightning is now summoned from the arms as well so it gets drawn in from the wings towards the arms and then zap hmm I think that's actually a quite good idea 
Uh, let me just say, did that, but it's already 45 minutes in. Oh my god, why, why is it always that time when you are looking at the time and then it's already like, hmm, yes, it's almost time. What do you mean it's almost time? It's almost time. Oh boy. All right, so uh, we're just going to be looking for the uh, part we need. Uh, no, no, this, yes. All right. We're gonna be drawing now the lightning part that we need to draw on the hands. Uh, we're gonna put that into a little bit layer, last layer. Once, once this is all done, once this part of the drawing is done, I will make sure that this is all merged into one because this is gonna be then. You don't uh, with a thumbnail. We don't want to have like a lot of uh, parts laying around. So. Oh well, we don't. We want to keep it small. So the idea is that we're now gonna go for a lightning that goes around like so, and then you know, getting that vibe of channel lightning towards the globe, like so. I don't know. Is that is that cool? Is that cool? Is that a cool effect? Probably. But I should definitely get more. I should definitely get some more lightning in there. So like getting that lightning up and running. So yeah, it's a very difficult one to draw. Don't get me wrong. Lightning is great and all, but it is such a pain in the ass to draw sometimes because, as you can see, the lightning. Towards the bo towards the orb, towards the lightning, towards the you know, t uh, there you go, and now that is truly the channel. So the lightning goes around and zaps around that way. Yes, there you go. So the lightning is there, and I also need to make then sure that I have some lightning over here. So I should probably have some more lightning getting merged. So it's like you know a, a big giant globe of uh, lightning getting channel in. So because we need to have that big giant globe of lightning getting channeled in, this is actually quite a good lightning strike. But it should definitely have like something like this, and then. Uh, some more to the south, like so, yes, and then get this part up and running. So there's a surge coming in, and that surge is gonna be dragged from the from the claw towards the middle of the middle of the claw into the globes of all into the giant glowing orb. Of course, you know, since we also need to do it on the same side, I should have definitely mirrored it, but. We didn't. All right, so now we're gonna go this way, this way, and we should definitely put this out so that we cannot get confused, and we should definitely put the uh, bomb out so that we don't get confused again. And now we need to go moving again. So, uh, come on, give me, give me good heads up. There you go. This needs to be going that way, and then this needs to go in there, and then zappy. Zap. There you go. And then more lightning needs to come from this side towards the crackling doom that is called the orb. So more lightning needs to be going that way. Like so. So that is like that part and then we need to have like a zapping somatic like so. And then you have this, and then move that way. Yes, there you go. So now we have actually the part that we that we need. We have big giant orbs getting ch uh, getting channeled by lightning, and that's how the Morphok works. Because you know that's how the Morphok should work. The only downside is, well, um, it might look a little bit weird, but. Once I get then the a big giant orb moving part, so the lightning that gets channeled into it, so like you know, like big giant lightning bolts that getting channeled, so it's more like plasma afterwards, and then it's done. Of course, you know, in real in realistic perspective, 
this should not work with the Marfog, because the Marfog actually uses static electricity instead of lightning. But because we have these crystals, I think like why not? This thing can char this this thing can actually produce big giant lightning bolts. So that's why this is gonna be going for lightning bolts. He's gonna cast lightning bolt. Oh, that's actually quite a good. Oh my god, I can put that down. I can put that down like fired up. I can put here lightning bolt, and then you know be like yeah, and then and then have and then have you know bomb and be totally fried. So the idea is then afterwards that bomb is gonna be like uh, how do you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Like so, and then be like, mm -hmm. I think, I think that's like so, right? And then, yeah. Hold on. Mm. And then I need to have like a tiny bit. Uh, so. And then, totally fried. So how? Ow. Ow. <laughs> and then, you know, have still his... D d he be like, you know, and then downwards towards, and then have still some zapping in there. <laughs> pointing towards, pointing towards the, uh, pointing towards the, uh, uh, to towards, you know, the warning sign, like, yeah, uh, this bird, this bird produces heavy electricity, blah, 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 beware, danger, and then, you know, have this, have this, uh, and then have this scope, be represent like, lightning strike, like, it, 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 like, like this, uh, electricity warning, yeah, exactly, so, eh, I will probably figure out something, but, yeah, that's yeah, gonna be like I'm gonna give probably something like uh instruction like if you put if you put if you put some if you put uh how do you say that raining shoes raining shoes no um I'll find out what the word is for it but uh, we'll, we'll get it uh, later anyway um uh, bu -bu -bu. yeah I think I will uh, leave it here for today because I'm actually quite tired so, uh, yeah, I uh, think I made a lot of progress. I know now how to draw this, so I will get, um, I will get tomorrow, I will get everything done and fixed, hopefully. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you a lovely day. And, uh, until then, bye!